y'all. Hello, hello. Welcome in, y'all. <laughs> I need... I need the vibes to be radiant. Ooh, you're in front of me. That's very radiant. You have radiated too much. I'm sorry, chat. Deviation from the norm will be punished. And I will be in front of you. Aha! <laughs> I'm sorry, chat. <laughs> You're wonderful, but... But, but... Block the streamer? Too bad. Um, I need the vibes to be immaculate, though. Can you do this for me, chat? May I be so bold as to please request good vibes. I know, it's a little bit entitled. Ooh, water sippy. Yes, water is good vibes, thank you. Um, just had a really... Oh, five stream streak. Hell yeah. Bless you. That's very sweet. Aww. No, Squibble is cool. True story. Squibble's very cool. Um, I am, uh, I just had like a shitty phone call, which is why I am running really late today. Um, but literally five minutes before I was meant to go live, I get like a phone call that was just mega heavy and, um, uncool behavior. So, um, I just kind of needed to, oh, thank you for kind. Mm, thank you for kindness. Um, oh, call at night and drink cola. <laughs> Thank you for the resub. Bless you, Frog I'm not with a hat. To still be up. Oh no, illegal behavior. <laughs> thank you for gracing us with your presence. And thank you for gracing me with a subscription. That's hella generous of you. Thank you, Frog with a hat. Mm. Um, this is a very good vibe. Thank you for the good vibes. <laughs> um, so yes, I have rebalanced myself a little bit mentally to be late streaming, but at least I'm in a better mood than I was like 15 minutes ago. <laughs> uh, bless. Hey V, welcome in. Also, frog with a hat. I know that I- Oh! Oh! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Thank you for the gifted. Yo, thank you for gifting a sub. I went to I Am A Pain. Ooh, sick. Um, enjoy your sub, yo. And thank you. That's super generous. And, whoa, Repulsive, you're on a 20 stream streak? Well done. Nice. Thank you. We do what we can to bring in some good vibes. Hell yeah. Thank you, y'all. I, uh, much appreciate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yippee. <laughs> good. Yes, good. Very good. Um, you have a plan? Oh. It should be higher? I mean, you've been pretty... What's the word? Omnipresent? <laughs> ah yes, the omnipresent repulsive GC. Um, no, what's the word? You've been, like, around lots. I, uh, I wouldn't doubt you if you said that Twitch is wrong. For many reasons, but... We're gonna do what now? <laughs> Sorry, what? Oh, I see. Ah! I got bombed. Okay. Rude. Nah, nah, it's... <laughs> I had it coming, I guess. Um, hey! Aww. Okay, yes, I will. I- Everyone's just- <laughs> Everyone's just forcing me to, uh, have things happen to- Yes, we have jam toast now. Munch munch. It's a raspberry jam, though. I'm sorry to disappoint. 
and thank you for the soupy. Welcome in, Happy Latch. Yo. Um, I I appreciate your work, V, to try and get Hollywood not. Oh, thank you for kindness. Um, not replacing actors and writers with AI. I think I was seeing um, a. You know what? I'm not gonna um focus on it, but uh. Yes, I appreciate the uh, <laughs> action must be taken. Um, took me a while to get that down. I think the eat stays up until I turn it off. Um, because I've got to actually eat, you know? And thank you for head pads. You all are very sweet. Did I have the sippy? I probably should actually sippy water, hey? Sippy and coffee is, uh... Tasty good, but I forget if I asked how everyone's going. How are we? How is everyone else? I have I have uh had my complaining moment. <laughs> I've opened the stream with many complaints. <laughs> um I hope you're all going alright. Welcome to Friday. Um pretty sure it's Friday nearly all round. So like, mm, very good. I am uh I am going to be probably resting this weekend, but um, I will hopefully have a negative uh, COVID test because I really need to do grocery shop. Like, it's it. I got the money. I can I can do the thing. I need to go and actually restock. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's it's very much the thing. Um, um, you go get out of bed and join with some coffee soon. Hell yeah, Mickey B. Delicious. Um, you're good? You just woke up. Good morning to you. Hmm. You're tired and sore and ready for the weekend. This week has been so long. Yeah, I feel that. Though, look, you've probably been working very hard, <laughs> whereas I've been, like, I mean, I'm, I've been resting up. Sickness takes it out of you. Um, you deserve a good weekend. I hope you have an awesome weekend. Do you have anything planned? Um. I've recently been peer pressured into listening to a band. Oh, it's really fucking odd. A song that describes my- Oh, describes your ex. That's so odd. Who's- Should I ask who the band is? Are they any good? Um, Seven Stream Streak. Hell yeah. Thank you, V. The watch streaks are so interesting. Like... Gonna, gonna be honest, didn't realize that was a feature. <laughs> Like tear down week. Ooh, prep it for paint and new parts. Oh, that's exciting. Cool. Pick up some new tools. Mm hmm, mm hmm. It sounds like work, but like, mm, good project work. TV girl. Okay, I don't think I know them. Not bad, not always my thing. Okay. Mm hmm. Sometimes there are songs that just hit really, really hard. Um,. For some reason, the other day, um, I was listening to Talking Heads, and this is not a new band, this is not a new, like, this is music I probably have listened to for years, but I'd never really, like, sat and listened to, um, Nothing But Flowers? I think that's the name of the song. And it just hit so hard. I was like, oh shit, I feel this viscerally. And when a song resonates that well, like... 10 out of 10. Uh, I appreciate it when the uh, art hits good. What streaks could have done without nudging you while you're not in the stream about them? Huh? Okay, that's slightly annoying. Um, but still, interesting. I recently found a song so beautiful I had to repeat really the whole day. Wait, someone shared a song with us. And oh, is Discord going now? I'm trying to remember if that was you. Was that the one that you sent, the waste bin one? Um, because, yeah, sick song. Twitch should send someone to physically bang on your door if you miss a stream. <laughs> uh, that's what mods do, right? <laughs> sorry, sorry, I really can't miss this. A Twitch guy demands it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, your company will understand. But I'm sure that that's what mods do. Right? Yeah. 
It was another song. Ah, cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, this has me in a way better mood. Thank you, chat. I appreciate it. Chug coffee. <laughs> Oh, thank you for meds reminder. Yeah, if anyone has um, meds that need taking, I endorse. Um, oh, it's Poppy. Yo, welcome in Poppy. Nice new. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I need to do a like posting it around mm -hmm. soon. Maybe I'll do that over the weekend. Do some like look at my face. <laughs> Usually people do a like model um what's it called like uh model reveal um my brain just emptied when did i debut wednesday yeah on wednesday um i had a community challenge um i probably said it too low but that's that's me for you um a community uh points channel points um challenge for new year new me because <laughs> i thought it would take a couple of weeks <laughs> i'm bad at estimating numbers numbers are not my strong suit okay <laughs> but we got there in like two streams so like thank you chat appreciate it mm -hmm. new para hell yeah yeah send it phone line by paula and bryson sick well tuesday depending Oh, time zones, right, 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 right. Two streams knew me, yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> people are generous, people are excited. That's really cute, I agree. Mm. Thank you, peeps. Mm. How have you been? I hope you've been well, Poppy. Um, so, 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 so. It broke Twitch. Oh, <laughs> Actually, I was laughing about that after stream. <laughs> my stream just gave up. As soon as I tried to do the reveal, my stream was like, no, how dare you? And it like, it gave up. It totally gave up <laughs> to relaunch stream. It was um, kind of funny. There is a clip. Thank you, Repulsive. This narrowed my name down to six things, huh? Okay. My streams in and out. Oh no, over the last few days also. I think it must be the weather over the last week. I think you might be right. Um I mean I don't know how like I don't know how what's the word? How infrastructure is affected by storms, but it sure as hell Mm, coincided with many storms. The weather has been wild. It has gone from, um, like, extremely hot to just storming away. Um, which, like, I don't know. I like better than, like, consistently hot. <laughs> At least there's breaks in me, like, being way too overheated. Um, Thanks for going back and getting that repulsive, yeah. That's as blessed, blessed behavior. Um. <laughs> I will totally use that clip, uh, and do, do self-promo with it. <laughs> like, competent streamers I want to do. I mentioned that my name was the same as a TV go- Oh! Your name! Oh! I'm digging a hole. It's alright. I will, um, in one ear, out the other. Mm -hmm. I did not notice at all. Um, <laughs> you, you could have had, um, full deniability or full, um, full power ignorance, but you were kind enough to explain. <laughs> um, either way, that's alright. Things have been semi- okay, semi not. I see, I see. It's complicated to put into words, so do not sound foolish, I won't. Hey, that's fair enough. But you're hanging in there best you can. Salute, Poppy. I really, uh... Uh, what's the word? I really feel ya on the, like, hanging in there vibes. Hmm. 
especially today for me, it's been a hanging in there day. So, mm, salute, good work. Uh, I am sorry to hear that as well, though. Oh, powerful. I love when the emotes just float around <laughs> like that. <laughs> totally disconnected. Um, let us know if there's any way we can be um, some support or whatnot. Yeah. Otherwise, you know, we're, we're here for company. Um, today for me, uh, just before stream, I got a really shitty phone call. Um, I've been up under the weather the past couple of weeks, so um, I uh, just, just kind of being like, um, my brain today has been not very um, executive function. <laughs> executive function has not been happening for me today. So I've kind of been trying to like say to myself, it's okay, you are sick and getting better. And like, it's okay to uh, not be, not be achieving anything today. Um, and then I just got a really shitty phone call that was like, very uncool behavior um, from them, I will say that. And I was just like, uh, blah blah blah. Mm. Thank you for the hug. Yeah. No, oh, and thank you for the head pats. Sometimes shit is just a bit messed up. Mm. So yeah, let us know if there's anything uh, you wanted to um, talk through or like you wanted to. What's the word? That could have been could be helpful for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. Good on you, Squibble. <laughs> I agree. We have a cool bunch here. I, I appreciate the good company. Um, you baked today. Oh, sick. What'd you make? As always, we're here. I'm going to talk about that power. Oh, I, <laughs> I have a feeling it will end up being a, a Discord post. Um... No lie, I probably will uh, do a vent. I was considering if I wanted to do that before I streamed today, and then I was like, nah, nah. I think um, I. Uh... Sometimes you just want to be distracted for a while and then process things properly, you know? Um, that's that's the vibe for me today. Yeah. Um, hey, we have a Dio. Yo, Dio. Welcome in. How you going? Um, you used to bake with your mom. Oh, I see. So it's the first time you've been baking on your own. My chocolate zucchini bread, her recipe. That's very sweet, V. Oh, that's super lovely. Did it taste amazing? That sounds amazing. Welcome in, Sam. Yeah, new model. <laughs> it, it only changed last stream, so you, you're not very far behind. Um. Yeah, thank you for the compliments, you um, I hang up on people if they start getting harassed or pissy with me. Mm. No, everyone's different, so I don't say that to judge. No, no, no. I'll just say you deserve to do that if necessary. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I, um, I very much, um, was a little bit snappy and was very much, um, this is not okay behavior. So I was, like, a little bit snappy with the, like, this is uncool. I need to tell you that this is uncool, and this is not on, and I won't be continuing this conversation. Goodbye. Like, like it was very much a para being very serious moment, um, but it doesn't feel good to do that. Like, even if I know in my heart, like, that was the right thing to do, it still feels bad. <laughs> like, it's like, this is progress, you're sticking up for yourself, and drawing a line, and having boundaries, and... Gosh, it's still hard. Um, so, you know, we... <sighs> we rebalance. We chill out with chat. You all are, uh, helping me, uh, feel more balanced. Mm. It does sound good. That, that, that food sounds amazing. You made it for class. Sick. Um. You were sad to miss the last two streams. That's alright, Dio. Like, there is no pressure to tune in. It's also a super busy time of the year for a lot of people. Um, need to watch you more. Oh, Sam, bless. My luck being on vacation and all that, so true. Um, hey, I, I can never, uh, 
I can't step into Lilac's shoes like that, but I am grateful to have you around. <laughs> um, I legitimately have that written down in a draft. Oh, for real? Making them feel nice and normal. Forget the world for a while is also support. Mm -hmm. You love that? Thank you. Did good. You'll feel worse not having boundaries. So much agree. Totally, totally agree. Um, yeah, you're right. Even if this feels hard, it's a lot better than the alternate. I have a bad habit of matching people's energy a little too well. To the point where it feels like I'm mocking them. Which sometimes I am. <laughs> hey, I... Hmm. Interesting. I think that that's... I think I do a little bit of that, but mostly when I don't know someone very well. You know? Like, I will... I will kind of parallel or match them when we are not necessarily knowing each other super well. So I kind of feel that. God, <laughs> drinks! Hey, Lax! Welcome in! Um, I don't actually have drinks, but this game is making drinks, okay? <laughs> I swear we'll play the game at some stage. <laughs> Maybe, probably. <laughs> hmm. Having it feel bad means that you're a good person. Narcissists don't feel bad after an interaction like that. That's an interesting point. Oh. That's a really interesting point. I'm genuinely really proud of you. Oh. Speaking of peace, you deserve to be heard and not be a doormat. Y'all are so sweet. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, what you mean about standing up for yourself not feeling very good? The bad vibes are a lot... And then there's that sense of guilt for being mean, even if you're in the right. Yes, exactly. I don't, I don't want to be a mean person, you know. Um, like, but it's also like, it's not being a mean person to have your own limits and boundaries, you know. And it's actually maybe someone else being a little bit mean if they know them and kapow all over them. <sighs> um, so yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying not to get myself worked up, but thank you, y'all. Um, I, I really appreciate the validation and the, like, affirmation that I am not totally off base. Um, and not alone, having complicated feelings with that. Um, so sorry, chat. I'm taking forever to catch up. Your Twitch recap was all lilac? Oh, that's sweet as. Um, uh, she's worth it, so... I, I endorse. Um. Okay. Good morning, Wand Herring. Welcome in. New model, yeah! We changed models. We, uh, we have an updated model as of last stream. Mm-hmm. Hello. Oh, um, I still haven't set it up properly, but... Eh, I can change my outfit. Oh. Yeah, okay, I'll be blue. Why not? <laughs> They will be channel point redeems eventually. I'm just, um, very behind. Um. Ah, I like the blue, thank you. Um. Um. Better than the alternate. Oh, wood? Hmm? It's fine. What's good though? What are we talking about? That's so true. <laughs> What are we talking about? <laughs> I am jumping all over the place with the conversation, please forgive. Um, like, we, we're talking a little bit about, um, oh jeez, what are we talking about? New model, that's a fun. Also, like, uh, before stream I had a shitty phone call, so I was, I was, uh, telling chat and, and hearing from chat on you know, sometimes you, it feels bad, but also okay to, yeah, to, to, uh, advocate for yourself, advocate for a reasonable boundary and, and whatnot, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I hope you've been well. Haven't seen you in a bit, Lax. I hope that life is treating you well. I'm a bit narcissistic, it hurts my friendship sometimes, but at least I know I am. Hey, I'm not here to, like, I'm not, um, 
I'm not here to shit on people who are like managing, uh, like, uh, like cluster B anything. <laughs> I'm not here to judge at all. Um, I think that the, uh, I think the sentiment with which we're we're thinking about these things is like when you are not giving a shit about other people in your life, like needing to focus on yourself and whatnot. That that happens. Everyone needs to do that. Um, sometimes there's a different level of energy that it takes and an intention that it takes to examine the people around you and how you're impacting them. Um, so, um, being a little bit unsure about how to do that well, um, is, is, uh, in some part my autism in action, but, um, I can appreciate there would be a lot of overlap with some Cluster B, uh, folks as well. Um. Yeah, I'm glad people like the blue. Thank you. Royal purple has been banned. <laughs> Gods. Um, I always feel bad having to have a bad interaction, even if I know it was the right thing. Some conversations like that still play out in my head years later. 100% mood. Mood. Um, I still regularly think about conversations that happened years ago. Um. <sighs> Yeah. Uh, I will only not speak my piece or step up to someone if someone who I feel the need to protect is around. Oh, true. Si being quiet and like mm, the protection mode happening. I see, I see. Verbally. Yeah, yeah, I follow. Sorry to hear. Hopefully the remainder of this year treats you all kindly. Thanks, Lex. Same to you, yo. Um. I want to be like, you go bait pop off. <laughs> I mean... I've been enjoying myself. Got bamboozled over a few job- Oh, job offers. Okay, okay. At the same time, I've been reliving 2017 by playing The Sims 3. Oh my gosh. That's really sweet. Does it, like, uh... What's the word? Is it still good? Is it still a fun play? I think I picked up Sims 4 like a year or two ago, like I, I tried to give it a go and I I think I didn't have the time to give to it that it really needed. <laughs> like um The Sims, those kinds of games are really a hyper fixate for, you know, weeks on end kind of game for me. <laughs> But I am, yeah, really glad to hear about the job offer stuff. I know last time, um, well, maybe not last time, but a few streams ago, a few weeks ago, maybe. Maybe even a month. Oh, I don't know. My sense of time is terrible. You were mentioning, like, finishing off at, at uni or college and, like, um, that, that transitionary period from study uh, or research into the workforce and stuff. So it's really cool to hear that, that you've had some, like, traction on that. Um, it can get really frustrating going through that whole process. So, like, congrat, congrat on the progress. Uh, how did you remember? <laughs> I'm amazed when I remember things myself, so. But no, that's really cool. I'm, I'm glad to hear there's some, uh, cool news. I hope that some of the offers are the, for roles that you are, like, interested in. <laughs> that's the other part of job search. <laughs> That what comes your way is like, uh, meets your skill set and meets your interest areas or whatnot. Um, you're gonna be listening in, no worries, V. Um, uh, a little bit rough, requires some mods to run smoothly. Oh, The Sims 3, yeah, but otherwise really fun, well sick. Love that. Whoever mentioned protection mode, I feel that. I think it was Poppy. Yeah, yeah. I, um... Yeah. I feel that, especially when I'm among the baby queers. <laughs> Not that I'm, like, you know, elderly or anything, but I do feel a degree of, like, mm, protective mode when I'm around younger. Oh, sorry. I don't know why that message got held in chat. Auto mod. 
<laughs> Auto mod just protected me from the word fucker. <laughs> okay, buddy. Um, but yeah. Hmm. Um, I don't get Sims in games like that, but oxygen not included. Wait, that's really familiar. What is that? Well, I mean, I know I'm meant to be playing a game right now, but I'm I'm enjoying the chats too much. Y'all are too entertaining. Oxygen not included. Oh, wait. I see. Survival. Is it kind of like you micromanage a little bit or like... Manager society happening? Bruh. Bruh. Hmm. <laughs> it held fucker again. Why? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ugh. Um, I got beat up a few times. Oh no. I never stood up to them, but if it were my friends, those fuckers would be go- Mmm, yep. Yeah. Having the, um... I admire- look, I don't want people to put themselves in danger, obvi. However, when friends are, like, in the crosshairs- when good folks in general- general are in the crosshairs, the, like, protection instinct, like, can really go off. I do not play a watch Genshin. No, or Honkai. Honkai? I can't pronounce words. <laughs> Um, no, but what did I, hmm, oh, I think it was a Jaden animation video. I'm like, why is Genshin really familiar right now? I think I watched a, yeah, a Jaden animation video that kind of seemed, um, like it was just an advertisement, <laughs> which, uh, you know what, get that bag, etc. Um, <laughs> But no, do you recommend? Let's drink some water. Annual Seppi. Are those um super addictive games? That's that's what I'm wondering. <laughs> those games have been cooking alright. <laughs> They got Taylor Swift in Genshin Impact? Okay. Had no idea. Wild. Um, oh, you've played a ton, Sam. Sick. It was sponsored? Yeah, that, that makes sense. She indeed got paid to try the game. That's, you know what? That's, that's like, kind of admirable. Especially since it's so hard for animators to get bag. Um... I still watch, um, Rubber Ross, um, or whatever is, <laughs> I'm sure there's a, um, yeah, Rubber Ross, that says candle, right? Um, because I'm a dork and I have a big soft spot for animators in general, um. When would you usually stream? <laughs> yes. I want to see how pros do it. Ooh. Um, if you can be bothered, para look up Navia Genshin Impact. Oh, I see. So a character. Ah. Um, I was wanting to tell you about a character from Honkai. Oho. Oho. <laughs> That's a really cute name and I know I'm mispronouncing it. Every time I see her, it makes my protect slash motherly instincts go off. Aww. Look at her and she's so small and innocent and silly and all. That's very sweet. <laughs> you know what's up. Um, I don't know if man is right there, but I, I think Poppy is usually on, on the ball, yes. <laughs> um. 4pm. Oh, six streams. Nice, nice. Um, UTC users rise up. SMH I had. Okay. Okay, okay. I am realizing that I think this is the longest time that I've ever, um, 
Usually what? Oh, um, when Lax said my man knows what's up, I was like, I don't think Poppy is usually going by that. Um, forgive me if I'm overstepping. Um, I think that's what I said. He's adorable. Aww. It's just this incompetent girl that cries all the time. Oh, In fact, she's very capable of doing these things. Oh, I see. Precious just need a little push. That's sweet. My bad didn't know. No, no worries. That's why I said something. <laughs> New avatar needs some getting used to. Aw. I'm sorry, Commodore. It n not that it's bad, just radically different. I hope that it is something that is getting used to a ball. Um, I, uh, not that I, like, hated my last model, but I felt like I had, like, I don't know. I felt like I was trying too hard for a realistic style when I, like, my, mm, I wasn't quite, quite there yet with my skill set, if that makes any sense. And there felt like there was something comfortable about, uh, doing something slightly more light-hearted looking. Um, but, yeah, feedback welcome, Irene. <laughs> I am no pro. Yeah. Oh, Lax, I know the manner of speaking. I, I am still constantly saying dude and then being like, oops. Um, but like 90% of the time it, it suits the situation, so it's fine. Um, you finally joined the Discord? I saw Wand Herring, bless you. It was such a surprise. I'm not used to people dropping in when I'm not live, you know? Um, so it was, a, it was a sweet moment when I was like, oh my gosh, someone's joining but I'm not even promoing it. Um, at least I think that's what happened. Maybe I only noticed when I woke up. That's, <laughs> that's also possible. Um, trying to make my final model base for a while. Oh, my inspiration for my next model is Fremenet from Genshin. Sick. Looks like a Beyblade style. Hey, that's alright. Um, outgrown it. Perhaps. Like, I knew I definitely wanted to upgrade it. Um, but as far as, like, what style I was going for, yeah, it's hard to decide. You like the chunky hair? <laughs> Thank you. Can't even remember what the old model looked like repulsive. I think that's a good thing. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Orbiting satellites? Definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, and, uh, I think next month if I look at your old avatar, I'll think... <laughs> You'll be like, yuck. Good. <laughs> it's funny, but good. Oh. You could get the printouts out on for the stream chat. That is a very good idea. I do totally tune in to people who have that set up. Let me write that down. Pronouns add on the chat. Because I'm tweaking my, my s setup a little bit. Now is the perfect time for something like that. Um, you finally made a second account to join. Oh, I hope that wasn't an inconvenience, but appreciate having you in. Wah! Thanks, Dyer. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I will drink candy. <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> the satin redeem is gone. Wait, I think I have that. I just don't have it turned on right now. It's all right, it's all right. Um, so my... I know I'm a trans girl, but I'll make my models look like twinks and no one can stop me. Hey, fuck yeah, you do you. There are no rules. There are no rules. Um, ancient Egyptians played Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> yes, I hear that. I totally hear that. Um, 
ancient Hebrew played Beyblade? Okay, I don't know the Beyblade reference, but I will trust. Beating Saturn Redeem or Riot? Wait, it's that easy to get chat to Riot? Wonderful. <laughs> okay. Um. Thank you for feeding me toast. I like always, always enjoy being. Wait. I don't think I want a soundbite of me saying that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Moving on. <laughs> I don't think people who don't have it all set up can see it. So in stream chat, telling someone's pronouns would be helpful for those who don't. True, 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 true. Um, it's also like. I, I like that when I'm in chat and like chatting with folks, not that I like need people to have the same pronouns as me, but there is like a little bit of solidarity sometimes when people are sharing experiences, knowing, knowing kind of like what, what angle they're coming from, what shared experiences you may have with people. It's kind of, kind of like same hat, same hat moment, you know, <laughs> same pronouns, same pronouns. <laughs> Um, anyway, welcome in, Haparsen. You're late again. Hey, no such thing, Haparsen. You're always right on time. <laughs> okay, there is such thing as being late, but I was late today, so we're gonna act like it's not a thing. <laughs> um, just, uh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> I hope you're going all good. Um, welcome to the morning. It is morning, yes. Welcome to Friday. Oh, thank you for kindness. Thanks, Commodore. Whoever said that about Twink's pop-off hunt? Totally. Agree. In Beyblade lore, Moses played Beyblade. What? <laughs> That's so wild. Okay, I am not up to speed on Beyblade lore. <laughs> if I had a VTuber avatar, I'd have like seven variants with unique voice filters and personalities. Oh my god. Can't be the same person on stream every time, that's boring. I agree, I'm boring. <laughs> no, but actually, if you could pull that off, like, that's freaking awesome, please. Please. I don't know if the neighborhood kids are coming through my mic, but I think it is, um... Are they coming through my mic? I think my neighbor's kids are like, partying or something. <laughs> Ah, oh, jeez. It's it's school holidays, probably. Maybe. Anyway, I'm I'm so behind. You you are hearing it. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> My mic is real sensitive, I guess. They're enjoying themselves. Hell yeah. I mean, <laughs> you are the screeching of young ones. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. There is um. Look, there's something blessed about living. Uh. A life where there's a time of the year where it's just no school, you know? It's like, no school, no responsibilities, getting out my DS. Um, so, look, I don't, I don't remember screeching as a child, but I probably did. I was probably a screeching child. Palm <laughs> buggy! <laughs> Blessed. Okay, okay. I am scrolling up. Fashionably late, just building hype. That's exactly what happened, I agree. Look, sees girl. I am girl too. Share agreement, not as. That's very sweet. Yeah, that's exactly the behavior I meant. Yeah, I haven't even started the game yet. Chat, don't don't tell Twitch. Don't don't tell Twitch. Um Moses parted the red Beyblade? Okay. <sighs> we didn't know you adopted? <laughs> what, I adopted children and I just like left them to fend for themselves in the other room? <laughs> Good luck, kiddo. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> oh, jeez. No, wait. Let's not have para-negligent parent arc. That's terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
sorry. <laughs> Terrible jokes. I, I am so sorry. Ay, ay, ay. No, I do not have children. Um, I do have neighbours in close proximity, though, because I live in Australia and housing. Goodness. Um, just chatting in disguise. Oh, just chatting. Yes, we are just chatting in disguise. Correct, correct. No one can bonk me. I mean, literally everyone can bonk me. Uh, no! The fucking channel redeem, I mean. But no one can bonk me into just chatting. Yeah, that's... Ah. <sighs> See, this is what happens when you let me talk. I say words and immediately regret them all. Yeah, that. That. <laughs> Equal opportunity bunk. <laughs> oh. Cries. This is what I get. Why? Totally different. Yeah, 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 yeah. They said the word. <laughs> this is my doing. Okay. This is, these are my errors, my grave errors. <laughs> you're 20 points from redeem. Uh, I'm so sorry for your loss. <laughs> there is a cost to entry. Um. Just leave them with some wooden toys? Huh? I saved you, but you're saving your own ass from here. I mean, yes. <laughs> Sink or swim. Okay, okay. The kiddos, they can distract themselves. I mean, yes. Power of the game? What? But I was having fun. Okay. What game? <laughs> oh my god, wait. Have we been listening to the same song on repeat this whole time? I am so sorry. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um... I'm sorry. That's on me. That's so on me. It was a bop. For the first 40 minutes, maybe. Oh my god. Oh. Chat, you don't deserve this treatment. Load. I almost started a new game. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ah. <sighs> Power the game? Hmm. Hmm. Load. Day 17! <gasps> That's right! I'm about to get kicked out of my apartment. Speaking of housing. Woohoo. Huh? Um, not riot over lack of satin redeemed now to eat the. <laughs> that was my plot all along. I exhaust you with just chatting, and then I, uh. Something, something. Eat the toast. Jill is thinking a lot about Kira Miki. Yeah, me too. You've been talking a lot with that Alma girl? Oh no. Okay. Para become emotional? That's the story of my life though. If Para was a game, what kind of game would he be? That's a good question. Oh, good night, V. Good night, good night. Um. Don't forget to upsell everyone. Right. I guess I'm gonna have to. It's okay, we have the same song on repeat for two days, Neurodivergence. Thank fuck. BTC closing 40% of its bars, wearing socks with sandals, birth rates decrease as the youth prefers Lilum company. 
Okay. Anime. I love anime. <laughs> um, been listening to the same few Ethel Kane songs. So I want to do a cupcake remix of them. Oh, sick. I don't think I know Ethel Kane. You know what? I'm not reading this out loud. It's expected that new regulations will, will soon to be will soon to be announced to address the situation. What's the regulation that stops the kids from having their robot company? Love anime. You like anime? You're not a real fan. <laughs> There's new Miyazaki, isn't there? I should probably watch that. And socks with sandals in public is now a crime. You know, speaking of anime being a, a mistake, um, I like to say we have the freedom to wear whatever we like, as long as we adhere to decency rules. Glitch City's Department of Public Decency has declared that wearing socks and sandals together is a punishable crime. Should the fashion police of high society decide? Yes, they should. <laughs> Power becomes an authoritarian, but just for fashion choices. Uh, that would explain him showing up on memes a lot recently. True, yes. I think I was also reading something about, um... Shit. The guy from Twilight doing a voice. Um... British Trademark Council? Wait, do I work for the British Trademark Council? Wait, I work for- That is not what I thought BTC stood for. Totally irrelevant, I'm eating ramen right now. You know what, it's- it's relevant. <laughs> if you also eat ramen, put a little bit of your favourite cheese in there? What? I've never done that before. Really? Look, I trust. You know what? Adding an egg is delicious. I've just never thought of cheese before. Cheese and ramen is a bomb? For real? Wow. Okay, cool. A wolf boy or vampire? A vampire boy, I think. Just craft cheese? <laughs> I don't think I own any craft cheese. <laughs> just let it melt. I- I- I think I've got some, like, slice. I don't know if I have ramen, though. I don't- I like white cheeses. Hmm. Cheese is like half of my personality, and I've never tried that plus. Oh, the half is garlic bread. Very nice. You're only making me hungry. Okay. This is a very interesting news article, I'm sure. Oh. Hmm. But I've run out of food. I'm sorry. I will eat later. We will have a break. You know, when I've actually played the game some. I will have a break later and get some food. I had a mango right before we started. I am, in case it's not obvious, a little bit obsessed with fruit right now. I have, like, waves of, like foods that I am like, this is good food, and then I grab it and I eat it. Like, viciously. <laughs> mango. Still jealous. You, you probably should be, to be honest. It was a very good mango. Um, Japanese ramen brands for sure. I'm not sure about the stuff like Indomie. Okay. I unfortunately can't eat any of the normal things because celiac life. But there are like gluten-free, um, like rice noodle style instant noodles that I can eat that are usually pretty good. Um, they do not compare to ramen though, I will be honest. Um, that's right, someone from 4chan said they were going to visit me in the bar. Um, worrying. This game has a like, uh, whatever that is. 
might work. Hey, I will- I will try it. I genuinely will try it. <laughs> Picking up my headphone for a second. Because I swear I just heard children screaming in what sounded like pain. Now nah, they're having fun, okay. <laughs> Sometimes you have to like pause and consider it. Um, 300 bucks, ah. I can't afford it. My character wants it, but I can't afford it. December 29th. Good evening. Hey. Okay, so people who haven't seen this game yet, I am a cyberpunk. I am a cyberpunk? I'm a bartender in this cyberpunk bartender action. The bar is called Valhalla. Um, and I need to like make drinks in order to get paid and pay rent. So, you know, dystopia. <laughs> No, the uh, game has lots of, like, interesting characters visiting the bar. Mm -hmm. They'll be fine and we'll say something if we hear blood. Thank you, I'd appreciate that. I am a cyberpunk. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Oh, and all of these voices are going to be different to last time. Sorry, <laughs> no UBI. Ah. <laughs> uh. Even in this dystopia. <laughs> no, I am uh, truly working hard for the money. Look, I may have blown a fair chunk of my income on some kind of like anime girl wallpaper for my room, so I'm going to admit that I haven't been exactly financially responsible up to this point. Um, however, Structural something something, ethical consumption something something. Okay, sir, we got almost everything, but we're still missing a couple of things for Saturday. And so, I designate you, Jillian Applegate, wait what? As official guy who goes to buy the rest of the stuff. You mean in-game, right? <laughs> Look. <laughs> yes, I do, I do. I do not have anime girl wallpaper IRL yet. Maybe this is something I need to put on the throne. Comfort items. Comfort items. It's for sustaining mental health. Oh, true. No, you're so right. <laughs> Surrounds myself with like plushies and blankets and comfort items. Mm. Wait, no, that's not even ironic. The level of responsible depends entirely on which anime girl. Hmm. Suna from Sword Art Online. Hmm. Hmm. I wouldn't judge. I was judging the fact it was a poor financial decision. I look. Some there are some things that I probably shouldn't spend money on. Like, uh, you know what? Let's let's not interrogate that too much. <laughs> Applegate? I have no idea who that is. Why me? I could send Jill, but I wouldn't dare send a lady by herself. <laughs> and I could go with her, but I believe the bar should have at least two people in the vicinity at all times. Hmm. You're not gonna say anything, Jill. If it means not being delivery girl, I'm happy to fake helplessness. No. Fine, give me that list. I'll be back sometime. Bro, have you seen outside? Get all the blankets and plushies you can in one. You're right, outside is pretty fucking terrifying. Um, a blanket made out of plushies. Whoa, what? Is that a thing? I mean, same, also sus. Do not admit to anything anime wallpaper is not tax deductible. 
It is if it's used, um, wait, this is not tax advice, but it is if it's used in the process of generating your assessable income. So like, if you film your wall <laughs> and put it, um, put it on the Patreon and tell everyone that wall pics behind the paywall <laughs> then it's tax deductible done think about tax deductible <laughs> yeah tax deductible you have to have taxable income in the first place <laughs> my accountant plushie <laughs> that, that is where i got my advice yes that's where i got my tax advice like an NFT, no! <laughs> Non-fungible wallpaper? <laughs> Picture of my anime wall for one dollar a year. <laughs> yes, correct. <sighs> okay. Me trying to think through whether the joke is worth it. It's not worth it. I shouldn't stick things to my wall. It's not worth it. I shouldn't stick things to my wall. <laughs> Seriously, considering it. Non fungible tapestry is perfect. Oh, th see, this is why I need you, chat. Yeah, Miggy B, you're right. It, the, it was right there. This is Mr. Snuggles. He'll be representing me in court against the IRS. Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, and then the judge throws out the case because Mr. Snuggles is so right. You know what? So right. <sighs> something tells me you're planning something, boss. What gives you that impression? Call it a gut feeling. Did you know Chell has a crush? On me? He- what? A client of his. A girl that owns a business. How do you pronounce this? Bazaar? Bazaar. Bazaar. I think I said the same pronunciation twice, but... Real question. Is it pronounced Bazaar? Mr. Snuggles is a better lawyer than Saul Goodman. Yeah, Mr. Snuggles fucking rules. Bazaar. 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 Okay, well at least Jill doesn't have a crush on me. That's actually good. She's been coming on to him for ages, and he's only just started opening up. But he's taking steps backward, and I'm not going to let him. He's opening up for fuck's sake. And so the errands will take him to the bazaar, I take it. Bazaar. That's right. Huh. Alright then, to the office I go. As for me... Oh yeah! Quick, let's queue up the song that we listened to for like 40 minutes before the stream started proper, you know? Wait, it was clipped? Oh no. That is one hell of a first time chat. I believe in you, buddy. I love the unspoken backstory of Mr. Snuggles using they, them pronouns. Hell yeah, they do. <laughs> At least accepting them. Good, yes. M yes, mux. Ah. My nose is too stuffed for this. Okay, okay. Mr. is their first name. Perfect. Sam, I don't even remember my own, like, save clip. Is it save... Save clip? I'll just press enter and hope that it works. Yes! <laughs> Thank you. I'm just saving it to watch later. Okay, okay. Um, let's listen to... Everything will be okay. <laughs> just, just please convince me. Systems go. Huh. 
Palmetry and Dream is just such a nice name for a song. You know why? Orphan children are babies? I'm not sure I follow if that's a joke or not. Um, the laughs were so great. Oh no. Oh good. I think. Deeply troubling. No, thank you for the clip. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Chill with the crush, huh? This place. Great. Oh, if it isn't... <gasps> Kiramiki! Yo! So this is the pop star, Idol. Idol? Idol star pop. And... Actually, I don't remember if she was cool or not. She was really passionate, I think. That's what I remember. Is there anywhere I can hide? There's an unpleasant guy on my trail. Oh no. Boss, stalked woman incoming. Doors open. Go ahead, the door to the left. Oh, she's gonna hide. Okay. I'm glad that we uh, facilitate that. Thanks. Wait, are you being stalked by the dog? Hello there. Oh, hi there. No, okay. <laughs> I thought she was getting stalked by the dog for a second there. The other one, that's the bathroom. Wait, what's the dog doing in the bathroom? Oh shit, it's him. Okay. So he's the journal. He's the guy who like... Ginger and a Jameson looking guy. But like literally, he's like the boss gender. Now where did she... Oh, the hellhole. Perfect. Thanks, buddy. Nice to see you too. Hey, kid. I'll have the usual. Right. You remembered me after two weeks. Um, I'm pretty sure he got a giant beer last time. Who is him? So he runs the, um, newspaper that we sometimes read at home. So he's, like, constantly trying to chase leads and gossip and... What else does, like, a tabloid magazine like? Rumors, I guess? But he also seems to be a misogynist. And he also seems to be, uh, abusing the privilege of his interns, his unpaid interns. Um, alcohol is this experience expensive in the future. And we are a dive bar. $200 beer. Um, I don't think last time I made a big drink it charged them extra, but... Four. One, two, three, four. Hey, it's Tooth! Yo, Tooth! Welcome in. How you going? Yeah, if I recall correctly, his intern quit recently. Yeah, she was here in the last stream. She was like... Inflation. This is, uh... Yeah, I guess this is the dystopic reality. But also I'm wondering if it's a matter of, like, cyberpunk dystopia. This alcohol is very, like... Not... Not traditional alcohol. Like, we're making something that tastes close to the real deal. So like, maybe it's that our company has like, uh, one of the few places that you can get wasted so they can artificially inflate. So it's not just a general inflation, but <laughs> not just a general inflation. Um, Vazabuna, I don't know what you mean by that. And I'm going to admit that it makes me uneasy, so I encourage less of that, please and thank you. Um, $200 for beer substitute is insane. But this world is insane, so maybe, uh, maybe it's what gets him through? Maybe, maybe. You gotta finish your final essay. Best wishes, too. I believe in you. 
You're welcome to share about it if you want to, but you're also welcome to be distracted from it. <laughs> if you're anything like me, sometimes you just need a distraction from an assignment for a while. Here. This seems right. Paper's been a mess lately. You'd think with all that's happening, they'd stay and do more reports. But they're all asking for vacations, and I can't afford to be understaffed. Right, it's about to be the new year. Maybe, maybe give your team some time off. So I had to come up with some sort of a reward for whoever produces the most reports. I see no difference in my feed, though. Mr. Donovan, I don't mean to sound rude, but... You do know the infamy of the augmented eye with the general public, right? A shitty page will over-sensationalize over anything and report useless things. I need my alkies, this is a hate crime. What are, what are drinks of choice? Uh, if people have drinks of choice. Depending on the date, it could be normal 2-3%. to 3%. Right, it's just very far into the future. Of course I know. Then why not try to rectify that image? To put it simply, I'm being clutched by the ball. In the non-pleasant way. I... Sometimes there's sentences that I'm not sure if I should say out loud. Yeah. Screwdriver, mead, woo. Long Island iced tea. I don't think I've ever had a Long Island iced tea. It sounds fancy, but it also sounds like a big drink. Mixed or straight? Oh, your choice, your choice. Um, I was thinking mixed, but whatever is like, this is the good stuff. Yeah, I'm uh... I'll do that. Okay, that's alright. <laughs> Mod check in. Um, yeah, wheat usually. SMH my hand. I'll drink anything if it's cheap or free. <laughs> I see, I see. If it's straight, I like my flavored vodkas. Oh, fancy, fancy, fancy. Um, nice. I have like a, uh, kind of blood orange mixed drink. Uh, I think it's just vodka blood orange um, in the fridge that I will probably have sometime over the weekend. I think I'm still a little bit too under the weather for alcohol to be like the choice. Um, I've also been like adjusting one of my meds a little bit, like with, with my doctor. So I'm, I'm kind of like, nah, I should probably wait to drink till I know. Uh, that it's all leveled out. But I hope you'll enjoy enjoy the drinks you enjoy. You've given me ideas. <laughs> New Year's. I will have to have drinks on the New Year's. Mm, that's a good excuse. Vanilla Old Fashioned. Ooh. Old Fashioned's are very fancy. When they have had Grey Goose, Grey Goose once in my life, I totally bought some um, Grey Goose for my, like, Graduation. Like, I I bought the fancy vodka to have for, for my graduation party. <laughs> Captain Morgan's. I love gin. Gin and tonic is a vibe. Um, I only drink malt and, like, not more than twice a year. Honestly, yeah, special occasions, perfect. I'm not a huge drinker myself. Start the year hungover so it can only get better. <laughs> maybe. Maybe, maybe. Saibatsu Corp and Company have an eye on every publication they haven't bought yet. Report on them once and they'll find something to find you with. Twice and you'll find your resources severely cut. Oh, so you're a tabloid because the structural challenges if you report on anything serious are punitive oh oh this this adds some depth this adds a little bit of depth <laughs> um no no 
that that is totally fair poppy seeds i am um, because okay how do i say this because i like how do i say this because i am extremely open to folks who are maybe not in the like best mental state like being like really open to folks who might be having a hard time or like whose mental health is up and down wavy or you know that that are having a different relationship with reality or like quote unquote reality um i try to give people a bit of time to like settle in and like show whether they're coming from a good place or not um i don't love it if it makes other people uncomfortable when i try to give people that flexibility but yeah i i agree we uh we gave a bit of a warning and it got didn't didn't get uh, absorbed in a way that uh left me feeling comfortable as well yeah um, and yeah everyone's comfort is important not just uh not just one person's um game also has fans that are not so but hey that's that's fair that's fair true um okay oh you're never mixing those two again gin and tonic with cotton candy that sounds fancy as hell wavy mental health tm yes <laughs> exactly uh hashtag me and you'll find your resources fairly cut. Okay. They're giving him some depth. However, he is still a bad guy. <laughs> Anything beyond that, in the best case scenario, is that they'll buy the damn operation to keep it quiet. I know there are more newsworthy, newsworthy things than whatever it is the lackeys picked out that way. But if I overstep, my ass is on the line. Huh. Glad to see this hellhole is still in one piece. BTC has been going to ape shit closing bars lately. Mm. Oh yeah, that. Let's not say or do anything different next time. No, I appreciate people letting me know if they are, um, like, like give people a bit of bit of opportunity to demonstrate themselves and everything. Yeah, but like, if you're being made uncomfortable by someone else in chat, speaking up is super welcome. You are very much allowed to and welcome to do that. Um, so please don't ever feel like you need to um, hide your own levels of safety or comfort in order to like just let someone else walk all over them. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's just a company run by a bunch of people who aren't really in touch with reality. Yesterday they closed one that served as a key part of drug trafficking ring. Last week, they closed three small bars that served as illegal chicken restaurants. What? Illegal chickens? In the future, chicken's illegal? Oh, the acid base. Right. Such a staple. Truly, truly. I don't necessarily know the name of it, but I think I know the sound. I'm with the grace period, but once it's over, I'll pipe up. Hell yeah, thanks Lex. I appreciate that. <laughs> Legalized chicken. <laughs> Why are we making the chickens illegal? <laughs> good, too? That's good. <laughs> Artificial chicken. Yeah, true. Mm. I'm just wondering what's... What's the illegal part? Like, is it that they were serving chicken and that's what's illegal? Huh. Not to mention, there are like a hundred people who have BTC certificates but never use them. Instead, they keep those credentials around to stop police from raiding their homes or warehouses. I don't know about you, but it's obvious to me that some restructuring, restructuring will begin at the BTC after this whole thing. I was under the impression that this place was going to close down soon. Oh, chickenpox prevention. Oh, maybe there was some like bird flu moments. Or like, like I, you might be right. There may be some like biological component happening here. 
think the point is that they use too many resources, maybe, maybe. You might be right, yeah, that's true as well. The, like, the farming of animals in the future. Just, like, 3D printed chicken? Birds just get banned. Mm -hmm. Man, shit ran deeper than I thought. And No News Outlet talks about that. Alright kid, let's try Moonblast. Come again. Hey, even I have to break the routine from time to time. Moonblast. Okay. Six Adel Hide. One, two, three, four, five, six. One Powder Delta. One Planner Guide. Two Karma Train. Four the Rocks. And Landed. I would download a chicken. Maybe the chickens all got their revenge, like Ocarina of Time style. Yeah. Now let's see what the ruckus is about. Um, so... What brought you here? Oh right, didn't you see a Lilum coming in here? Blue hair, big... T-Tars. She's the one from the Encore concert coming up. Not really. Did she jump on the roof then? Why are you looking for her? Did you want an interview? Not really, just hitting on her. Ew, this guy's gross. Chickens can hurt to cows, pigs, or any other. They'd rather come mates or a chicken resource site. Oh yeah, in comparison especially, yeah. Um, I think, uh, in this future, in this hypothetical future, anything could be possible though. Uh, so. So, you know, we, we speculate wildly. We speculate wildly. Cheapest cut in my country? Yeah? There you go. I've also heard the advice of factoid. If you must eat meat, chicken juice is the least. As far as land use, CO2. I see. Wait. Critically acclaimed 2000 stop motion comedy chicken run? Was that movie actually critically acclaimed? I, I... I have to know this. I have to know this. Did it actually do well? Chicken Run Rotten Tomato. Rotten Tomatoes. It was critically acclaimed. Certified fresh by professionals. That is wild. That is so funny to me. The critics did indeed acclaim this title. <laughs> Good for them. <laughs> oh, maybe it's a restaurant that was illegal, not the chicken. You might be right. You may be right. Um. Oh, what other colors? Uh, uh. I should turn this on at some stage. Um. Yeah. That's purple. Oh. Wait, <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> hey, there's orange. Actually, I'm gonna be orange today. We're gonna be orange. We're gonna be orange. Orange, orange, orange. <laughs> Everyone likes the purple more. Too late. <laughs> the orange is so obnoxious. <laughs> I really like loud colors. Loud colors are my, uh, my fabe. Fabe? Yeah, my fabe. Orange is the new black. So true. <laughs> um, Ace Purple. It was, yeah. Um, uh, did I show all the colors? I think so. Yeah, I was blue. I showed you purple. Then there's orange. And then there's my, like, regular green. But that's so stinky and old. Stinky old green. <laughs> I had to keep the original outfit. I spent too much time on this not to. <laughs> okay. Mara went to jail for black market poultry? Nah, I broke out. <laughs> we don't stink on the green. Gotta remember your roots. So true. Gotta remember where I came from. <laughs> Present orange jerk, yes. 
I'm a mandarin cat and oranges are my arch nemeses. I am so sorry. But... I think I can say it with confidence. Yeah, orange is my favorite color. I admittedly more of a like sunset orange is kind of my favorite color. I know I use greens and like blues tons, but but it's like it's special. <laughs> a really burnt orange. Yeah. Orange para. Yes, too. <laughs> I figured it would be green. You use green a lot. It's true. Green is up there. I love green. Green is beautiful. However. The mandarin is color orange, so... Hmm. It's the parasocial orange. <laughs> Me? It... TM, TM, TM. I have not registered this trademark. I to think about that. I said hitting on her, not hitting her. Stop glaring. Dude, it's still weird. Why though? Are you that bothered? Don't you have like a family or something? Never let them know your next move. Hiding your favorite color from the crowd by using your second favorite color even more? Maybe. Annoying orange? No, parasocial orange. I'm not reading this. I'm suffering the weirdest combo. I'm not reading this. Uh, so you followed her. I've yet to meet a woman that can resist the charms of Donovan D. Dawson. Yikes. How do people change a paracolor? I am really, really sorry. I still haven't made the redeem buttons. Like literally the little icon that lets you redeem. I, I still haven't made them. So it's on me. I'm sick. <laughs> no, I know it's not a big deal. You're in front of one and I'm guessing you have quite the selective memory. Like I said, don't you have a family or something? I know a guy that'd jive well with you? Uh huh? Oh jeez, Mr. Donovan. Okay, okay, okay. He's getting really creepy. I agree. I, uh, a wife, but that woman cheats on me as much as I cheat on her. Ugh. Look, it is good writing to make me hate a character. You know? <laughs> like, when... When there is, like, a standout character that is particularly heinous, but, like, is also meant to have some complexity to them or whatever, I'm like, ooh, you're good at writing, and I hate you for it. <laughs> like, like, you have made me so grumpy. However, there are some things I don't want to say out loud, you know? Um, I don't want to be live saying great TNA, you know, then, eh, eh. Um, then how is the Paracala being changed? Me. This is what causes war in chat, colors. We start having gangs form around the colors. Oh no! Well. Just tell them it's your birthday, they're legally required to change the color if it's your birthday. Who made this law? I would like to see the piece of paper it's written on. I love when you have a hateable antagonist. It takes talent to make them so despicable. Yes. A, like, a character that is genuinely so well representing the things that I hate and, like, it's not cheaply done. Yeah, it's, that's just impressive writing. <laughs> Tyranny of compulsory monogamy. For real, though. Paris Park Chameleon? Update the wiki. <laughs> Didn't you remember signing an NDA? <laughs> okay. Whip gang. You are the WIP gang. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've got the sniffles real bad. I'm sorry. I'm gonna like blow my nose.
Okay. Australian equivalent equivalent of a freedom of information request. Ah, uh, I think it's still a FOI for um government. I am not the government though. So good luck. <laughs> Para not the government. News at twelve. Oh thank you for the water. And thank you for the kindness as well. I have a president. I think I've said before, if I ever try to have any position of authority, <laughs> I must be immediately challenged. <laughs> immediately cancel me. Hold on to all of your, um, your draft tweets cancelling me and wait until I announce my uh, nomination for public office. <laughs> Um, Australians don't have freedom? It's so true. Well, we don't really have, like, um, what's it called? Like a Bill of Rights or anything like that, so... Um... Power the Monarch. I will sick my guards on anyone who, um... Jeez, I don't know. Seems like they need a glass of water. <laughs> my guards can carry glasses of water around. Jesus Christ. Para for God King, that's terrifying. Y'all are para for entire government, world overlord, almighty ruler. I'm gonna cancel the stream. <laughs> Do I have to cancel myself here? Have you seen those Winnie the Pooh's world leader videos? What? No? Wait, the ones that are like mocking, um, para for guy with biggest hat? I don't have a- I don't have a hat. <laughs> Creator of the universe. Oh, Call out post? Yeah, I will. I will! I will call myself out. If y'all are going to be doing some kind of, um, what's it called? Um... Great man worship. Yeah, let's go with that. It wasn't what I was thinking of. Cult is perfect, yes. If you're gonna be doing that, then I will just cancel myself. Easy peasy. <laughs> Not mocking Chinese leader. Okay, see, I miss, I miss, uh, I am familiar with Winnie the Pooh, uh, in that context, but no. On the fifth day, Para created anime wallpapers? <laughs> I like to believe that I did nothing else the other days. <laughs> On the first, second, third, and fourth day, I just kind of had a lay down. We just had a little rest. Just, just a little bit of hung shu, hung shu. Then anime wallpapers happened. And then, you know, I deserve a break. That's a lot of work. <laughs> If especially I are uh, model that can turn anyone into emperor of mankind for extra heresy. <laughs> oh no, please don't. <laughs> don't do this to me. <laughs> Before that, Para just chilled out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, anime wallpapers took a long time to make? Are you challenging me? Are you <laughs> On the 17th day, waifus, husbandos, and everything in between. <laughs> I was resting until the 17th day. There are a lot of days. I will respect your boundary and won't. Oh, bless you, wand herring. I, um, it's got nothing to do with the, like, art model. It's entirely to do with not wanting to be an emperor. <laughs> oh no, I've run out of coffee. Okay, okay. In fact, pretty convinced she gets off on the floor to... Uh, okay. So that lilum isn't here, huh? Water sippy, thank you. I do still have water. Dude! Calm down! They're just tea tars. Boobies aren't that important. Well, I mean, they probably are to some people, but... You got that vibe? Cool, cool, cool. 
Hey, after you're done glaring, please serve me a pile driver. Alright. Pile driver. No one's giving me the option to charge them for more expensive drinks. Two, three. One, two, three, four. All mixed. Here. Yeah. Alright. Well, seeing as she's not here, I have no reason to stay. Maybe I'll find someone that looks a bit like her. Okay, buddy. That's just a screwdriver, isn't it? In Maybe. I don't... That'll hide his orange juice. It is decided. The guy left. Alright. Thanks for sheltering me, Donna. Hope your sister likes the video. No thank you. Seems you had a hearty talk. Your boss is such a fun person. Her sister is a fan of mine, so I recorded a small video for her and took a couple of photos. She's safe, yeah. My boss in this game, the boss kind of rules. She does seem like a good egg. How nice of you. It's nothing, really. And she did hide me, so it's the least I could do. Oh, well. We're here already. Mind giving you something sweet? Hell yeah, okay. Something sweet. Uh... What is the most expensive sweet? 150? 150? She's a celebrity, she can afford something expensive, you know? 180? Hmm. 250? 320, yeah, okay. I'm gonna make friends today. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Two powder delta. Three planner guy. Three karma train. All aged and mixed. Here. Thanks. So, you know why Donovan was following you? I don't, but I wasn't in the mood to deal with them. His questions were a bit over the line last time, too. Not the worst I've dealt with, but I just didn't want to humor him. I see. Seems like he was just trying to come on to you. You don't say. Well, not like he'd have a chance anyways. I'm not into older guys, and I'm already committed to a relationship. Fi wait, you are? not common knowledge, and the ones who hear it try to dismiss it as rumors, but I've been in a relationship with my producer for a while now. With your producer? Really? We were both single, and that kind of stuff is bound to happen when you spend so much time together. Uh-oh. Yeah, the idol being in a relationship with a producer. Hmm. But it all started when he read an entry I made in my blog about wanting to experience love and the like. Hmm. He offered to- he offered to help with that after he read it, and I thought, sure, why not? It's lunch break Ethy's time? Good luck. I already knew him well enough, it wouldn't hurt to try. Oh nice. He's a stick in the mud where planning is true, but he's a sweetheart otherwise. I see. Hey, can you really walk so calmly? These streets aren't exactly safe. Compensating for being underpaid. Agree. Like, rest up, relax. Uh, enjoy your luck. I'm sorry you're getting underpaid, you're, that fucking sucks, but... Oh, thank you. I will eat in a bit, if that's okay. Mm -hmm. Really? I haven't faced any issues lately. Sure, they've tried to mug me once or twice, but it's no big deal. No big deal? Every time someone tries to mug me, somebody pops out of somewhere and stops it. Makes me feel like I'm always protected. Those are some hardcore stalkers. <laughs> right, that's right. Her stalkers have been really helpful in keeping her safe. Ironically. 
I guess the fact that she ran away from Donovan, even after all that, says something. Hey, this will sound familiar, but do you have anything like tea? Let me see. Yeah, I think I do. Spice tea. You're King Class CH1A, right? That I am. Long Island Iced Tea, true. Mm. May I ask you something about your model? Sure. Are there any differences between you and a DFC72? Wait, it, I think that's the model that the... No, actually, I'm not sure what model that is. Hmm. We both serve the same purpose, but... The SC-72 set the port on their heads, which makes them more versatile. What port? My line lacks that, or the resilience of the DT-01Ds, but we're a tad more polished elsewhere. More specifically, our voice emulators are more advanced, and our movements are smoother. Trade off of functionality and power for appearance, you could say. Oh, I see. So, anything new for this concert? Well, it is an encore, so we're trying to make it for this, make it the same for those who couldn't go to the first one. But we always try to spice it up, like maybe with a surprise song or something. There was this one time I sang a cover of a song by B Link. In return, they sang your love is a drug. Oh. So you know the B-Link girls? Really nice kids. You'd be surprised how different from their on-stage personas they are. Really? Susu, for example, can be really childish at times. She also laughs a lot, and loudly at that. Meanwhile, Anna is a party girl through and through. If they're not on tour, she spends her time partying like crazy. Huh, hard to believe. I mean, their image is that of stoic girls with little expression. Almost like living Victorian dolls or something. Well, they wanted to pop out in the public. They once told me, if we want people to notice us, we have to break the cutesy idol concept. And so they took the opposite and so they took the opposite route by becoming cool beauties with melancholic songs. I wouldn't say they went the opposite way. The opposite of cutesy idols would be unkempt, toned deaf girls spewing vitriol and hate. Damn. Wonderful. And, I mean, we have baby metal. Yeah, I was just thinking to myself, sounds cool as hell. <laughs> we need more of these. I don't know if unkempt is necessarily a vibe, but I don't know. There's something, there's something sweet in a, like, you know, oversized hoodie, messy hair, gremlin girl mode. <laughs> well, I've gotta go, but let's have a sparkle star first. Alright. Oh shit, I dozed off. That's alright. I said it out loud so I remembered it. Sparkle star. True Adelheid. You agree? Yeah. I think, like... Balance in all things, but I think it's I think it's uh, sweet. Gremlin girl mode is a mood. Hell yeah! Like it radiates like a degree of comfy as well as a degree of like comfort with you. Like when I think of someone like that, I'm like, oh, we are close because you are comfortable enough to be gremlin mode around me. That is sweet, you know. Here. Sparkling. Well, it's always a pleasure, John. Some self-confidence behind it. True, true. It's like, that's that's their vibe. Mm. Please come again. Will do. Oh, the handsome bartender. Nice to see you. Uh, uh. Boss, Jill's back. I'll take my break. All right. We get our break. We should probably save. <laughs> We're still on day 17. <laughs> I'm never going to finish this game. 
<laughs> I'm really enjoying it. I know I'm taking forever with it, but... Note to self, buy oil for that door. Need some WD-40. Okay. We're not in a rush? What? But why not? Nah, no, you're right. We're really not. Still don't know how to unlock these songs. Oh yeah, it's 2069. $200 beers will happen then, yeah. <laughs> At least, I think so. Be gone, oh, oh no. Mm. I mean, yeah, okay, that's a long time away. Maybe that's not a deeply troubling statement. Um, all right then. Jill, you're in my spot, please. Oh, sorry. Also, you're cleaning one of boss's chicken buckets. <laughs> yeah, chicken can't be illegal, that's right. Our boss eats bucket chicken. Uh, our boss totally fucking eats buckets of chicken. <laughs> Don't worry about it, I'm still looking for a job that's two lifetimes ahead. Yeah, yeah. Fair. I can't believe I forgot the spicy chicken bucket. Oh well. It's been a couple of weeks. We, we, we forgive, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did boss ask you to do that? If I told you she did, would you believe me? Without a doubt. Let's go with that then. Right. Greetings. Oh, Stella. What can I get you? I'll go with the Bleeding Jane today. Bleeding Jane. Okay. Only 200 bucks. But you're rich. Oh, Bloody Mary and Bleeding Jane, yes. Here you go. Thank you. What brought you here today? Waiting for six. I came by myself, actually. I was in the area and stopped to stay high. Wait, what's your voice stuff? Excuse my sniffles. Um. She's very proper, but she's also very spicy. Oh, pretty interesting though. When I first saw you, I doubted you'd ever come here again. Well, this place is comfortable, I must admit. So quiet and secluded. It's also clean, really clean. Joel is the one you can owe that to. The guy takes pride in how clean he keeps things around here. If you ever need cleaning stuff, he's a nice pick. Really? Hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. He's a bit out of it today, though. I see. Hey, Jill. Have you heard of the new gold rush in the city? Gold rush? Everyone is paying small fortunes to get their hands on pieces of white knight suits. I think I heard or read something about that. And I'm having doubts, so probably not. In any case, how is it a gold rush? Well, the tech behind the suits was always safely guarded. But after the events at the bank... Sorry. After the events at the bank, the suits were remotely shut down, breaking many of them in the process. Many units dropped their armor right there and fled when the lynchings went on. Any white knight still stuck in their suit had to have the armor. Had to take the armor off manually to run away. It all happened in the middle of the lynchings, so they'd be sitting ducks if they didn't. Some weren't that lucky. They got beaten up while they weren't able to move. So, between the suits becoming glorified paperweights, and many white knights going on the run, there ended up being a lot of junk lying around. But the whole scientific community is rejoicing. They're on a race to reverse engineer the suits and take on... and take as much technology as possible from them. Why is the TV off? Let's keep it on... Cool. Yeah, alright. 
And of course, every even single piece of the armor fetch a high price these days. Tunes are a little bit loud, sorry. Could anyone see any profit from that research to justify the expense? It's a new tech. A whole field. A whole new field ripe with patents just opened for many. So I'd say yes. Oh. I mean, the BTC is literally a conglomerate built on patents and trademarks. Oh, right! That is what we learned, isn't it? British trademarks? So the conglomerate is like an intellectual property conglomerate? Huh. There is one weird case, though. Hmm? There's this guy named Jack. He's the captain of a very unique Blitzkrie Blitzkrieg cult unit. Unique? The guy had a really small unit. Five people, including himself. The aesthetics of his unit's armor was heavily modded up to the point. To the point that they looked like a squad of pension heroes. And what? <clears throat> they looked really gaudy. But it turned out that the guy actually broke through the software and disabled the remote switch. The figure is not too far from the Commonwealth of the East Dutch Indies. I think that makes sense. This kind of like... Like dominant British industry cult conglomerate. Mm, yeah. He has one of the few, if not the only, suits of armor with the OS intact. To say they're among the most wanted people would be an understatement. You know a lot about this. It's interesting, the amount of things you hear when dealing with drunk people of all kinds in the same place. It also helps to put on a front that makes people lower their guard. That should sound familiar to you. True. Wait. Here's a freebie, a fun fact. The failsafe was originally going to involve the armor blowing up and leaving no traces. That's kind of fucked. The regulations and laws didn't allow that kind of technology near civilians. I guess even Zaibatsu Corp has its limits, huh? They'll love to demonize Zaibatsu Corp because, let's face it, they're far from innocent. But they're not evil overlords. They're just greedy. They're just a big corporation. They just so happen to have control over what town amounts to a city-state. Yeah, they just happen to have control over a city-state. Uh-huh. But corporations will naturally resort to draconian methods. I mean... I've heard horror stories from people outside the city about trying to use product placement. If you so much as hold a bottle the wrong way, or get in the way of a logo, you'll be in, in for lots of trouble. And let's not start with theme parks or the like. Those are dystopias of their own. Then again, most of the demonization is due to Quincy being such a clown. TV Trip says Henshin Hero refers to superheroes that have to switch in and out of their powers. Oh, thank you for clarifying. Not gonna lie, I was thinking to myself, when was this game made? Is this a Genshin, like, joke? And I just don't understand it that way. Shazam or Power Rangers, that common writer. I see. That makes more sense. Um, I assume. <laughs> Thank you for checking that for me. I had no idea. He has no power anyways. He's just the front that whatever council behind Zaibatsu cultures. He makes a fool of himself and the attention is taken away from whatever it is that Zaibatsu Corp is actually doing. Yeah. So what you're saying is... The Glitch City is basically a huge theme park? I've called the White Knights glorified mall security in the past, so yeah. Huh. No, seriously, and what? 
<laughs> Wait, is she gonna clarify? Can I get a brantini here, please? Sure. Okay, wonderful. Now this is worth more. Three, four, five, six, one, two, three, one, karma tree, all aged and mixed. Here. Thanks. So I take it you're in a good mood today. Does it show? A bit. Yeah, well. I managed to nab a couple of tickets for the Kiramiki Onko concert. Nice. Alright. As it turns out, she was just here. Again? Sorry. Again? Can't believe I just missed her. I was surprised too. I was more surprised she remembered my name though. And like last time, she was quite the graceful client. Ma'am. So those rumors about her being really nice in person were actually true. Amazing. I mean, you always want the famous people to be nice in real life. But having such backing to that claim, to hear that she's so nice to everyone. It's nice to hear, you know. In fact, many think that's what made her so famous so quickly. How she's down to earth and totally accessible, making her someone everyone wants to root for. Oh, I see. Yeah, I mean, I guess you don't want to feel like you're supporting crappy people. Yeah, that's kind of true. <laughs> I usually don't like supporting crappy people. Usually. Though to be honest, I've never put much thought into that one. Well, half the time I have no idea who made what I use. Why do I care much? Being a nice person will take you far, though. My daddy always insisted that being ruthless in the boardroom doesn't mean being an ass. That's right, you're from money. And he has actually managed to get certain contracts over other more powerful people. All thanks to being a nice guy overall. Sounds like good advice. But more importantly, Daddy? <clears throat> Do you really believe me saying she was just here that easily? You're not the kind to lie about stuff like that, so sure. Thanks, I guess. That said, can you go to the concert so easily? What about security and the like? My dad always has a unit keeping an eye on me from a distance. And you'd be surprised at how easily I can disguise myself with just a different hairdo and a cap. I see. I would love to see that. I hope there is fan art of that. I wonder if I could get in the disabled line with Say in her wounds. Although she'll probably nag me about how she doesn't need it and we shouldn't have used that. Yeah, probably. Oh. Hey, can you get me a classic drink? Okay, classic drink. Wait, uh, classic? Frothy water? 50. Bleeding Jane? 200. I think the other was 200. Yeah. Okay. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. Next. Here. Yeah. Thank you. Do you have many servants around the house still? I do, but they've been with us for so long, they're pretty much family. <laughs> I see. Your indentured servants are, uh, basically family. So, they like it. There's a lot of fan art for this game. You could spend days going through all of it. I will, actually. I actually will. It's Skylot Zoe! Yo, Zoe! Welcome in. It is good to see you. I agree, it's been a while. I was sick last week. I, I must shout you out. Um, Zoe is so lovely. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I was going to do a new year, new me. You were last playing special events. <laughs> I love it when that comes up. Okay, wonderful. Um, yeah, no, I did a new model. It was going to be for the new year, but chat, uh, chat saved up community points and got an early redemption. Tomorrow's your five year. Yo, that's so exciting. That is so exciting. Aw, thank you. I appreciate it. 
Flewful. Wonderful. Um, oh, that is hype. I will, I will do my best to drop in. I'm sure I can manage it. Oh, you're sweet. You're so sweet. Oh, well, I'm hype. I'm hype for your five year. That's very cool. Um, I hope you've been well. How was life being treating you? Um, New Year's came before Christmas. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Oh, thank you for head pats. Um, I do low-key uh, much prefer the New Year's and kind of fade out Christmas a little bit. Sorry for Christmas lovers. It's been okay. I'm very stressed working on stuff. I'm sorry. To, I'm sorry to hear about the stress. I hope that it's all been paying off. I hope your hard work has paid off. Um, but yeah, do you get any like? Uh, chill time these holidays. I hope so. Um, I know not everyone gets time off. Hopefully it shall. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. I hope so too. Or, I'm pretty sure it will. Pay off, I mean. <laughs> mm -hmm. Aww. Aww. Thank you for the kindness. Bless you. I hmm. hopefully after the 18th I can just sleep and rest. Yeah, that would be lovely. Um, I I got COVID last week. <laughs> Boom, double kindness, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I I managed to have a fair chunk of resting. Admittedly, I did a bunch of art, but the art felt therapeutic. Like the art felt like restful stuff. Even yeah, COVID. It sucks. Uh, don't like COVID. Hot take, COVID sucks. Um, still a little bit sniffly, which is probably able to be heard. Um, but, you know, I'm much better. Much, much, much better. I'll take COVID bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not everyone celebrates and it can be a bad time. Yeah, agree. Um, which, you know. Um, I think I'll be doing some, like, extra, like, drop-in kind of streams over the holiday period. But, um, I don't know. We'll see how we go. I also don't want to, like, overdo my, my, my stuff, but, um, my stuff, my bandwidth. <laughs> um, but yeah, it is cool to hear from you. I, I am hyped for your five years. That's so amazing. Five years of anything is impressive. Five years of, like, streaming? Whoa. Not many people manage to keep that up for long. <laughs> okay. Wait, it is five year streaming anniversary, right? Did I mix up what? <laughs> I, I may be silly. You're also allowed to show up randomly. True. Para jump scare. I will, I will para jump scare you. Appreciate this generally not forced to stick to you. Yeah. I, uh... But it, it feels right lately. Yeah. The schedule has been good. Dot dot dot. Dot 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 It's good when I'm not sick. That's, that's for sure. Yes. <laughs> what happened? Oh right, Stella is talking about how much her servants are actually like really big fans of being servants. My dad has always said that if you earn someone's trust, they'll gleefully work for you, and everyone wins. <laughs> cool, Stella. I love that for you. We even had a young gardener that left to study engineering, and he actually came back. He still comes by every weekend to tend to the plants. Um, that sounds nice. Dot, dot, dot. Let me know if you're ever in need of a job. I might find you something. Thanks for the offer. Oh, well, I'm glad if they're getting paid. Job sounds less... Wait. Hmm? I just realized something's off with the whole tech gold rush story. What would it be? Wouldn't all that tech be patented anyways? I get trying to crack it in the first place, but... That would be true if the tech was patented in the first place. It isn't? 
Daibatsu had been so paranoid about making the White Knights untouchable that they never patented anything. A patent would be in a database that someone could hack and retrieve valuable info from. Aren't patents all publicly accessible? I'm pretty sure they are. Don't take my word for that though. I guess this is also a cyberpunk dystopia. The idea that corporations would advocate to be able to patent something without making it public information would, uh, that would add up. That would be cyberpunk dystopia indeed. Not to mention they've been using tech from other companies without any authorization. And no patent registry in their right minds would approve of that global shutdown signal. Let alone how it immobilized everyone still inside of those suits. Thank you for the financial advice. Uh, you're welcome. Did I ever like... Damn it. No, you know what? I'm not giving away that. Um, I just really enjoyed the folding ideas video. <laughs> Clipped? What do you mean? Um, Nightpot deleted Mickey B's recommendation, or quote, of my um, recommendation to invest in crypto, which is atrocious. I have never said that. And, uh, Thank you, Nightbot, for your noble service. <laughs> Thank you for sending kindness, of Parson. Bless you. Um, okay, let's have some water. <sighs> Nightbot is the MVP. Um, no, I just like, not to go to bat for, <laughs> for YouTubers that are, um, but I, 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 I really liked that Folding Ideas video. It was a good video. I think it was called This Is Financial Advice. That's why your message reminded me of it. Mm -hmm. So the ones that were upholding the law did so using suits that are by means illegal? The irony runs deep, wouldn't you say? I may have had like many hyperfixation moments on like online scams, so <laughs> um the like is that the documentary on crypto? It was recommended to me a couple of times and never got around to it. Um, Folding Ideas did make one on crypto, Line Go Up. Um, there was also a, like, This Is Not Financial Advice was his, like, latest one. Um, I, because I, I don't go on about my hyperfixations sometimes because I'm embarrassed by them. However, I am very, very, very much someone that has hyperfixated on, um, like, scams, especially scams that are, like, um, that are digitally perpetrated, if that makes any sense. Like, online, yeah. Um, so Line Go Up is the one on crypto. Um, the, this is not financial advice, is the one on the, um, game stock, you know, meme stocks drama drama it's not drama it's uh you know the uh the internet convincing itself that it's definitely got the upper hand on corporations definitely definitely um you know diamond emoji hand emoji yeah. exactly that so i found that to be really uh really cool coverage. I don't know. Like, it was really well done. Um, anyway. I'm allowed to info dump, but that's the kind of info dumping that's not really relevant to what I do here. <laughs> you know? Um, like, yeah. I, uh... The irony runs deep, wouldn't you say? Why do it though? 
And you have so much money. Stop thinking you can screw around with the rules. All that power makes you think you're above every law there is. And this city is what happens when those with money start making the rules. I'm curious though, have you ever covered up any fuck-ups by using money? I think we've all done things we're not too proud of at some point in our lives. What the hell, Nur, I disagree. You're a complete person? What? Huge if true. Not defined by your usefulness or focus. Aww. Thanks. I appreciate it. I, uh... Perhaps you are right. <laughs> but also, like... Um... I think that, like, I have other hyperfixations that align more so with this work. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> um, yeah. With... You wanna talk about 90 soft drinks for two hours? You're allowed to. I don't have that intel. But, point taken, I think that I have a deeply entrenched, um, embarrassment over some of my hyperfixations. And that is something that I would like to get over. So, you are very, uh, very much appreciated, and, and a person too in agreeing with it. Because, um, it is, uh, absolutely me being a little bit publicly embarrassed by, uh, by the things that I could talk a great length on, um, and have socially, you know, socially paid the consequences for talking too much about before, you know? No, thank you for head pads. Um. Not info dumping, this is exposure therapy, right? <laughs> this is some in vitro moments. Um, yeah, yeah. Um. Okay. So point taken. Point point absolutely taken. Oh shit. <laughs> um the think we've all done things we're not too proud of at some point in our lives. What was Stella saying? Oh, Stella was saying that she paid for problems to go away. Oh, I missed a person's question? Oh! Sorry, a person. How fucking rude of me. Oh. Uh, would you wish... Oh, would I visit such a bar IRL? There are several layers to my answer. Assuming that I'm leaving the house to go to a bar. Huge. <laughs> I don't think I've gone out to go drinking since pre-COVID. And that sounds like kind of silly. However, would I go to a place like this? Yeah, totally, 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 totally. Um, a like really, I don't know, kind of dingy locale. Yeah, yeah, I totally would. <laughs> I would be so up for going to a place with like odd characters. Hmm. Um, I. And then, like, especially if I, like, lived in a cyberpunk dystopia, I would totally go to places like this in that context. Hmm. I, uh... You are welcome in, Rogue Bundle. How are you going? Welcome back. Never seen... Yeah. Never seen you to scold anyone in chapter and for dumping, but you're scolding yourself. Yeah, it is unfair. You're... Damn, you're right, a person there. You're right. I do, um, it's kind of one of those, um, those things where, like, I have experienced the, the social consequences of accidentally, because there are sometimes social consequences for talking at length about something that other people are, like, not at all interested in. Um, and because my, like, interest areas can be a little bit hella niche, um, I have been told before that I sound like I am, um, how do I put this? 
Ooh. I have been told before that I sound like I am, like, uh, I think I'm smarter than other people. Like, <laughs> I have been criticized by uh, uh, people for... yeah. And so I never want to have that effect, you know? I never... I never want to, like, sound like I think I'm very smart because I'm like, oh no, I... I'm just, I, I'm just hyper fixated on this very niche stuff um, and accidentally making other people feel like not welcome in the conversation it, or like, like, that's like so, so the opposite of how I like to engage with people. Uh, it sounds like Normie's thinking everything's a competition. You're not wrong that like these this is the feedback from very um neurotypical folks <laughs> like, so i guess i just um need to spend more time with cooler people i guess <laughs> perhaps perhaps i am applying um a social standard in situation a to other parts of my life where it's not relevant mm. Either way, I guess I, I sh am trying to say that you all have a lot of, uh, a lot of good points here. Mm -hmm. One day I will uh, list off my interesting, not interesting topics. Me listing all the 1960s diesel train engines is not a way to show my superiority. I think because, like... I mean, I am superior. <laughs> no, because my train engine knowledge. Yeah, okay, valid. But like, that's very funny. Thank you, Miggy B. Recognize how great you are. That's very important, actually. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think a lot of my special interests also coincide with um very political topics, which can make some people feel uncomfortable, discomfort, um, which is also a moment that is like, you know, sometimes valid, sometimes not so valid, yeah. But anyway, <laughs> I've been talking a lot about myself here, I think, uh, hmm. Yeah. It's a great conversation starter for sure. <laughs> it's a good topic. Wow, interesting. Like genuinely? Intriguing. I um I think like I have like particular interests in like systems theory. Like this is autism mode. This is like proud autism mode. Um, that, like, uh, systems that encourage certain cultures and certain social norms, um, like, systems that, like, reward or encourage certain behaviors, uh, especially in, like, uh, organizations or, um, that, you know, that have net effects on things, like, ways that people are encouraged to invest their money or like discouraged to, <laughs> you know, the way that like uh, economics and different economic systems uh, encourage and discourage different ways of mm, consuming or like engaging in uh, like normalized and not normalized behaviors like that. All of that shit is so interesting to me. Um, but obviously that carries a lot of, uh, you know, we are analyzing capitalism moments. Uh. There is like a lot of interesting around like uh, interesting stuff around how people uh, end up replicating behaviors even though they don't intend to. That's that's very interesting to me. Culture and norms and like people just like doing their day to day and replicating something because they don't realize they're replicating it whether it's like intergenerational trauma related or it's like an economic norm to do certain things or um, all of those kind of cultures.
cultural uh, replication. <laughs> That's all interesting. It's hella interesting. Um, anyway. And I, I think that that's, uh, when it comes to the internet, uh, very, we get lots of snapshots into how lots of people all around the world do these things, replicate behaviors, what is normal to them and not normal to them. Mm. I can't say for everyone, but I'm here, and your stream's mostly for personality and community. Oh, yeah. Info dumbing to me is just an opportunity to know you from a new side. Doesn't look like some sign of superiority for me. And I appreciate that a lot. Yeah, thank you. It's fascinating to hear about people being passionate about anything when they can describe it in great detail. It's true. I, I think I'm refraining from like deep diving because, you know, I do want to play the game. <laughs> um, but uh, politics are good and you have some really good views. Not just saying that because I agree, agree with you a thousand percent. <laughs> and you're very welcome to disagree with me in every way. You know, like it's, yeah. It's also really nice to find spaces in anti capitalist by default, I am a, hmm. A lot of streamers shy away from politics for I need this to pay my bills reasons. I think that that's, and like, I, I'm not here to judge them, you know? But also, it's like very fundamental to who I am as a person that I strongly believe in um, a better world existing. Like, it's so fundamental to who I am um, and fundamental to also this space that is creating, hopefully, an environment where people are um, safe to acknowledge when they're having a bad time and the ways that the systems around them, whether it's their family or their um, housing or their uh, like intergenerational context or geopolitics of war and conflict and environmental catastrophe like impact their well-being on an individual level um, and it would be really really hard to acknowledge what people are experiencing in the environments that they're in if I was afraid of acknowledging or naming the environments that they're in. Um, obviously not everyone wants to, you know, vent and then talk about domestic violence. <laughs> like, obviously not everyone wants to, you know, vent and then be thinking about, you know, how TERFs are affecting policy for um, people who need to, like, gender-affirming care. Um, however, like, it would be very, very disempowering to not not um, be willing to have that conversation where people are, are find it appropriate. Yeah, find it appropriate for understanding your own situation. Mm. Radical hope. Yes, exactly. I um, I uh, invest on money in robots. <laughs> Couldn't resist. Only half here. <laughs> no, that's okay. <laughs> Loud area at work. You're fine, Rude Thunder. You're a okay. Um, approximately or something. I don't have design in front of me. <laughs> Zine. Why did I say Zine? Um, that's totally fine. Um, yeah. So, I guess, um, it is hard to be... It is hard to also picture positive change if you aren't able to differentiate it from Like, I think with any change in your life, it's through patterns. It's a, it's a pattern. You're not going to have change by one day doing everything. One day everything changes, you know, like snap, it's di all different now. Like, any change in our lives requires all of the, like, little ways in which um, the systems that uphold the status quo to be kind of changed a little bit whether it's how you get up in the morning and what mentality you put on things and, you know, um, what you, you know, doing with yourself day in, day out. Um, but it's kind of a cycle. Small change makes a big change. Everything changed with the Fire Nation attack. Look, sometimes the environments do rapidly change, but um, when we're trying to intentionally make lives better, make the world around us better or whatnot, it's, it's a lot of 
changing systems. It's a lot of adjusting cycles and cultures and norms and what we consider to be our regular everyday, like recovery or, or um, you know, becoming our strongest selves requires like a thousand practices before that change becomes embedded, you know, like, yeah, it's like um, if someone is trying to, you know, not use drugs, they're not necessarily, they're very unlikely to like one day stop. It's going to take relapse, it's going to take practice, it's going to take examining how your, you know, social and environmental and home situation encourages you to have a status quo. Anyway, so that's my info dump. <laughs> we'll leave it there. <laughs> Either way, I um, I hope at least I have a coherent worldview. <laughs> I hope at least my um, my worldview like makes some sense. Uh, and it's okay if it doesn't, and you want to challenge me on it. That's fine too. <laughs> um, yeah. It's, uh, how did we get here? I think I was recommending the folding ideas video. <laughs> um, but yeah, there are cultures online that are interesting to examine as well. When we're spending so much time online, the uh, norms that are there can definitely affect what we do every day. Challenge you to a worldview duel? Hell yeah. Let's go. I'll take a second and drink some water. <laughs> it might be my sick content. Thank you. Play solipsism in defense mode and end my turn? Um. I play a control deck and I take control of your solipsism and it's mine now, actually. Yo! Thank you for gifting a sub, yo. Thanks, Miggy B. Encouraging this behavior in the most Pavlovian way I can. <laughs> That's so good. That's so funny. <laughs> You didn't have to do that at all, but bless you. And I went to jury. Okay, wonderful. A very worthy recipient. Blessed. <laughs> That's so funny. Triple cola? Wait, I'm looking at the thing. Does it still say one? I don't know why it says one. Please ignore my my tracker thing. I I'm I don't know where it gets its data from. Either way, thank you, Mickey B, um, for the very behaviorist um, <laughs> endorsement. It is fake news. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I will continue game now. Well, Jill. I gotta go. Always a pleasure. Please come again. Oh, Alma. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> For those playing at home, Alma has been getting on my nerves lately, uh, as in me, Para. However, I think the protagonist in the game is a big fan, so like... Goal. No, hello. You're pretty insistent on that one, aren't you? It's basic courtesy. Something I will fight to uphold. First the greeting stop, then saying please and thanks stops. And before you know it, boom, total anarchy. Where's the problem? <laughs> I fail to see an issue. You're exaggerating. I'm not. In fact, I'll go through that door again and I expect you to properly greet me this time. Fine. Hello, Jill. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary Over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore While I nodded nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping 
as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. This is Edgar Allan Poe. It took me a second. <laughs> this is fucking Poe. This is... okay. Tis some visitor, I muttered, tapping at my chamber door. Only this and nothing more. You overdid it. You totally overdid it. Quoth the bartender. I did not. So, you like poetry? Oh, is the original emo boy? <laughs> true, true. Alright, noted. I had a phase. Can I get you something? Let's start with the big cobalt velvet. Ooh, big cobalt velvet. Okay. Um, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All on the box and next. Yo! Parson. Aw, thank you for the gifted sub, and it went to Repulsive too, bless. You didn't have to do that, thank you. That's real kind of you, you're... Aww. You're all being too generous today, it's real sweet, but blah blah blah. Thank you, Apalson. And yay, Repulsive. <laughs> The happy noises, very nice. Mm. Very worthy. <laughs> I'm like, uh, the words, <laughs> the words aren't coming to me. The words are like, I didn't. I didn't do anything to deserve that, but, but like, thank you. No, you're, you're lovely. Thank you. Here. Thanks. Oh yeah, that's something I've been wondering about for a while. Hmm? Does the name Shadowmaster69? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Your Shadowmaster69's Chronicles. <laughs> I'm not good at expressing my emotions with words, so I use that way. <laughs> You're very generous, you are. Thanks, a parson. Mm. What other ways can I offer? Emotes. Yes, <laughs> bouncing emote. <laughs> That's a perfect way to express emotion. <laughs> I know the feeling, though. Yeah. I know the feeling of not being able to express. Gosh, okay. Does the name Shadowmaster 69's Chronicles ring any bells? Has Alma found my online persona? <laughs> oh my god, wait, has she? Wow, oh, you went pale. N no, the name doesn't ring any bells. May 22nd. Today my daily card readings told me that I'd meet great change thanks to an old man. My biology teacher told me I had been picked for an inter-school contest with my latest essay. I just knew a scientific theory on the idea of auras was as revolutionary as I thought. Wait, what? Soon I'll bring the world into the occult science singularity. Yo, what? Data entries don't seem to have gone that well, though. Mentions are being laughed at, being lectured on why the essay was wrong. Jill? I made sure to delete that blog! Wait, it was mine! No evidence should be left. I can think of at least six different sources off the top of my head that have all that stuff archived. Why? Why? Jeez, relax. It's not that bad. What do you mean it's not that bad? Don't you realize how embarrassing it all is? You've all been young, Jill. Relax. It's not like you're still like that nowadays. 
done that would have been embarrassing. You're not still like that, right? God, no. I gave up on the whole occult stuff. Jill has an occult background. Interesting. Interesting. Right? <laughs> right? It's just that remembering all that stuff is... Ugh. I don't know. I like the way you looked. We can hear the crush developing in your voice. <laughs> Damn it! I'm so obvious. <laughs> I'm too obvious. Ah. <laughs> uh. There are a few types of women that I'm into, and it's abundantly clear at this point where they lie. Very strong women who would beat me up or carry me on their shoulders. <laughs> or women who are very into the occult or uh, like very alternative and kind of weird, you know, weird, 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 but proudly weird. Mm. Goth, goth is like, as long as they're like genuinely into weird things and it's not just an aesthetic moment, like if they like wearing black, that's cool, I guess. But if they like wearing black because they're really into weird shit, hell yeah. <laughs> um, though admittedly, a big part of that is like... You know, I, I would not be opposed to being like besties with that person as well. You know, it's not, it's not all, you know, crush crush. There are some like... Ooh, that's a cool person, Ronan. You gonna rewrite that part of the wiki? <laughs> Damn it. My taste in people is so transparent. How embarrassing. <laughs> that's exactly what I look like, Repulsive. <laughs> okay. I like the way you look. All dressed in black with the rare accessory popping out, thanks to the colours. Wait, there were photos of me on my blog? I mean, at least you have the decency to use makeup and take care of yourself. What is that? So you have a pick. Oh god, you have a fucking pick. Why do you do this to me? Why do you take out the sins of my past? It's a cute lot. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I, I have no other choice. <laughs> I was bored. Last Friday, I had to take my mind off the whole Diana thing, so I ran a small background check on you. Simple stuff. Just checking past internet activity. Casual misogyny? Oh. I hope that I wasn't being casually misogynistic. Or were you referring to Alma? the decency to wear makeup okay good yeah okay okay <laughs> sorry there was there was a moment of like panic i i never want to objectify women or, or treat women badly um yes i agree have the decency to wear makeup is very mm. alma has repeatedly demonstrated herself as having some like bad takes like the way she was treating her sister this is all no, 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 you're okay, one Terry. Like, you don't need to apologize to me. Thank you for clarifying, but you don't need to apologize. <laughs> um, Alma has... Yeah, this is, this is a pattern of behavior. Damn it. Please don't run background checks like that. I just used a search engine, you know. Didn't request documents or anything. What led you to the page? You do realize your main mail account everywhere is still the one you used back then, right? Like I said, relax. You were obsessed with occultism. I wanted to kiss all the boys. Huh? Oh, and I kind of almost accomplished that in middle school, <laughs> which still sort of haunts me today. Aww. <laughs> Never underestimate the line old classmates will go to track you down. 
Especially if they think you're still the girl that kissed them for fun when they're lonely to boot. Mm. We all have things we're not too proud of as adults. Now I know how criminals feel when evidence is used against them. I have to ask though, why the 69? <laughs> it was supposed to be 69, not 69. Like in reference to both the lovers and the hermit. Oh, it was meant to be an occult moment. Or, well, insofar as the terror. It's frighteningly easy to dock someone and people don't realize it. Very true. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was convinced it meant wise choices. Still, there's nobody that would read that as 6 9. I, I was 12 at the time. Even at 12, I fucking knew what 69 was. Just how innocent were you back then? I don't think I knew that at 12. Maybe like 13 or 14, I guess. You have no idea. Well, let's sweeten up things a bit. I'll have a sugar rush. Sugar rush. Two. One. Optional. Yeah, sure. All mixed. Sugar rush. Yeah. This is the thing. Say, Alma, speak of the past. What was your last long term relationship like? That's sudden. Computers are also super eager to put your username or even real name on anything. Yeah. Good to double check shit before uploading it. Get yourself a nice exit data eraser. True. I am, uh... I'm so bad at this stuff. I am learning. I am learning. You dug through my past, I learned the right to dig through yours. Fine, fine. Long-lasting relationships, huh? Romantic ones, I'm guessing. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Well, I've had about four boyfriends who I'd describe as such. But I've introduced my family and all. Introduced to my family and all. The first one was in high school. I broke up with him because he cheated on me. I remember the other girl trying to pick a fight and me just saying, keep the fuck up. The second one was during my freshman year. I broke up with him after he thought it would be funny to punch me in the arm. Ow. He starts with a friendly hit and before you know it, Anyways, that sucks. You shouldn't have to learn though. Computers and companies and everything should respect that more. I would greatly appreciate if they did, but I, yeah. Grumble. The other guy I met shortly after I dropped out. Oh, that's right, she dropped out. He was interested in marriage, but he wanted to get married after only half a year or so of knowing him. And then there's Richard. Who? I spent almost four years with him. We got along pretty well. We had awesome chemistry. I truly loved him. True story, I was on a forum. Someone made a contest to test people's sleuthing abilities by making a form to complete about their RL self. In two hours, starting just with their username, found the number of their wife's yoga course. I warned them and they took down the contest. Oof. I mean, I'm really glad that you let them know. Like, stumbling upon that stuff and, like, letting someone know, yo, please be careful. Salute. Um, but god, it really kind of is that easy, huh? Yeah, I used to be really reckless, like, particularly reckless with my stuff. So, like, IDK. Mild regret. I think it was a, like, at the time I think it was a form of self-harm, honestly. Um, but yeah, it's, I, uh, and I gotta live with that. I had their address and everything. No, that's so scary. I am glad you let them know. It's like, it, it's only once you know that, like, you 
I mean, as much as I'd like to believe everyone will like preemptively protect this shit, sometimes it kind of takes being scared about it to take steps. It sucks even more when you warn family members about it, you're putting a bunch of info out there, be careful, and they just call you a techie character. What? That's... Eh. 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 Rumble. I hate that for you. I, uh... I don't think I have anyone that I've, like, needed to warn IRL on. It is what it is, Doc Mitty. <laughs> yes, indeed. This time went by, there was a rift that started separating us. He just didn't like my family. He didn't? Moreover, he wasn't a family person. He distanced himself from his own and boasted he didn't want kids. There was a part of me that wanted to believe, even just for a little bit, that maybe he'd change his mind. But as much as I loved him, that one detail brought the growing gap between us. Brought a growing gap between us. And at one point I just had to break up with him. But I'm not here to depress you. Bring me a beer, will ya? Yeah. Gotta be on the same page of someone that you want to spend that much of your life with. Thanks for telling me that, by the way. Don't mention it. Okay, one more question and we're even. Well, you really are embarrassed to that book, huh? Sure, ask away. What age did you get those implants? Jill, I love you and I know you're saying that in jest. But I've lived through so many rumors about me getting plastic surgery that I can't and won't take it as a joke. As such an honouring our friendship, I'll just say this. They're real, and they're spectacular. Okay. Yeah, you're allowed to be proud of your body. That's fine. <laughs> now, ask the real question before I slap you. I'll grant you one and only one chance to call me by my full name as a compensation then. I'd gladly take your offer. It's funny that you mentioned slapping, because my real question was, why did you get your hands chopped? <laughs> chopped. Well, there's a couple of reasons. Oh, does she have, like, android hands? First is that I spend lots of time typing. Oh, wait, cyborg hands? Wait. Cyborg is when you've added cybernetic parts, right? First is that I spend lots of time typing, and these replacements help to avoid carpal tunnel syndrome. Oh. I don't care much of these things. Police have all my info anyway. My medical data have been already sold by the medical center. What? Oh, that's so frustrating. Ugh. Since there's no reason to protect myself from internet changes, I easily caught by far more dangerous people. I can see that, but I also, like, there are some, like... Look, it's your information. It, at the end of the day, it is yours, and owning your own stuff and knowing your own priorities is totally up to you. Totally, totally fair. Um, there are, like, some things that I don't wish on anyone, though, and, like, being... Like, even if it's little things, like, being marketed to... Um, and, like, being targeted by nefarious actors that, I don't know take out lines of credit in your name and get you into debt and you have to like go through many many hoops to get out of it um or like like there are lots of bad things that can happen to you that i don't want anyone to have to go through um but i take your point that there are many many ways that it sounds like you have been from done by by some shitty actors as well um, yeah. I'm sorry to hear it. Like, genuinely. That fucking sucks. Dangerous people also have the internet. Yeah, that's true. I, uh, joke about the guys camping that are running away from a bear. Making yourself a more difficult target is better than nothing. Hmm. I think there's, um, I have been, I have had a stalker before. 
um, and that sucked. Like, there are some things that make me go, ah, uh, I really don't want that to happen to me. Like, one of those is that I have, like, I have had a, a person that was way too much, uh, way, way too into me, way too, and this is IRL, um, this is not, you know, an, an internet-based situation, um, and, like, so, like, I've had some experiences in my life, that and, like, not having a, um, good relationship with family, like, I don't want my family to be able to exercise control over my life, so, like, the, there are degrees of separation and degrees of, like, self-protection that have, like, kind of become necessary, um, however, I appreciate that not everyone will have that situation, and I'm glad that not everyone will have that situation, um, but like you said, doing what you can to avoid, or, like, being a more difficult target, um, I, I, I kind of want that for people, but also it's like, it's not, I am not living your life a person. I don't get to decide anything for your life. Like, definitely live the way you would like to live your life. Um, I, uh, I guess I, I want to protect people, but then I also, like, it, it ain't up to me, you know? Yeah. Um. So, yeah, I hope that makes sense. It's like, a, it's like a respect for autonomy, but also, like, not wanting bad things to happen. <laughs> Actually, that's a running theme. That's kind of a running theme in life. Thank you for the kindness, Repulsa. Um, but yeah. Hmm. Oh, anyway. Giving unsolicited advice. It's also not robbing someone very agency. Yeah, I, I hope it's, um... Yeah. There is, though, like, sometimes it can feel bad being on the receiving end of unsolicited advice, you know? Like, like uh, you're not my parent, etc. <laughs> um, yeah. There's other utilities, like how I can interface with many devices. Like, please tell me if I'm out of my lane, but I do say these things in good faith and love. Make sure people are making informed decisions. I, I have, um, I, I think you're striking a good balance between, like, like, uh, you know, there's things to be potentially wary of, and like, you know, you're not telling anyone that they're wrong if they want to do things differently. But like, you know, there, it's probably prudent to be protecting yourself. I don't know. I, I, I am not seeing a bad balance being struck, is what I'm trying to say. If I move my index finger, it acts like the computer's cursor. <gasps> I want this! Wait. I unironically really wish that I could do this. Like, imagine being able to, like, kind of move my fingers in the air as if I'm typing on a keyboard and, like, it types or, like, I can, like, move my finger to, like, move the cursor. I want that. <laughs> Damn it. I would, I would upgrade my hands. Or I would just wear gloves that let me do that. You know? Like, I feel like I wouldn't necessarily need to get rid of my hands to do this, maybe. Hand tracking thing for your model. Get it deducted from taxes to boot. <laughs> uh, this model does not have hand tracking. My last one did. I do have, um... I just haven't, uh, mapped the hands. Um, but it, it's... it's not the same, you know? <laughs> Tax deductible new hands. You have that? I- I know how to do that. I did that for the last model. Um... But yeah, hand tracking, you, you can just do it with a webcam. I just need to set up a second webcam that's looking at my hands. Mm -hmm. Oh! Aww! Thank you for the bits! Merry Crumbus to you too! <laughs> Thank you, Skylord Zoe. No. Merry Mary. 
think I just have the tech demo. I thought that was just pre-animated. No, 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 no. Totally works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I don't have the second webcam set up right now, so I can't. Sorry, I got distracted. I missed anything. I'm really sorry. That's okay. It's a okay. Um, I think that like, what's in the chat really summarizes what we talked about. Aw, thank you for the kindness also. Yo, bless you. I agree. Chat, oh, very lovely. Um, but a person, no, you didn't miss much. We were just kind of talking about, um, like, protecting identity stuff. Mm hmm Yeah. And then I was thinking about having gloves that are like a keyboard. <laughs> Wait, no, how do I say this normally? Like, if I had little gloves that, that I could move my fingers around and it would be like, ah, yes, you attack attack at me. And then if I move my hand differently, it would be like, oh, you're moving your cursor around the screen. I want that. Immediately. I demand it. There's lots more, but there's small things that don't sound that impressive when I say out loud. How did your family take the operation? They took it well enough, except for my mom. She freaked out for months. She even went to the hospital to ask for my hands. You know, people who, like, get their, um, I think I saw, uh, someone requested their removed ovaries, like, their, their fallopian tubes and ovaries, um, and then made them into, like, earrings or something. <laughs> so I'm picturing <laughs> Alma having hand earrings. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's very graphic. Ugh. Can imagine. <laughs> I know, right? 